Hey everybody, this is Nicole from Hair of the Dog, and I wanted to show you how I finish my files in Photoshop to bring out the eyes of the dogs that I photograph. So here we have Sweet Abby the Lab in Colorado in the trees, and I mean, she looks pretty good, but we want those eyes to pop. So I'm going to Command J for a new layer, and I'm going to use the History brush to brighten those eyes. So I Command J. On the right here in the history palette, I click on this last thing, the layer via copy, which is what happened when I did Command J, it made a layer via a copy. So I click that little checkbox right on the left. And then I come over here to the left side of my screen and I click on the history brush, or the shortcut is Y. It is the brush with the arrow behind it. So now I need to check a couple things. Up here on my mode, I need to make sure that it's in screen mode. Uh, multiply makes it darker, screen mode makes it lighter and opacity and flow I keep somewhere around 40 percent you can see it's 43 and 36 close enough it doesn't have to be perfect just somewhere around that neighborhood so now I'm gonna come in a little bit closer to Abby's eyes I have a small brush I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna bring up the highlights and I'm gonna do this just by doing a couple passes on it and then I'm gonna come around and lighten up the color of her eyes down here along the bottom usually opposite the catch light and then it looks a little bit light in the middle of her eyes so I'm gonna go up to multiply I'm just gonna darken that little center of her eye a little bit there we go and now we're gonna zoom back out and then we will turn it on and off to see what we did so there's quite a difference there. If you go a little bit too much, you can pull the opacity down a touch to where you like it. I think it looks pretty good right about there at 90%. Actually, I might pull it down a smidge more, about 85. All right, so now I'm gonna Command E to flatten, and I'm gonna come up here and do a high pass filter on those eyes just to make them glassy and pretty and shiny. So I have an action right here that you can actually download on Hair of the Dog blog on this blog post. And what this action is doing is applying a high pass filter and then adding a mask. It's actually very, very simple. So I'm just gonna hit play. It's gonna run through. It's already selected my brush. I already have white as my color selected. I'm again gonna go in a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. Make my brush a little bit smaller and just paint over the eye. Now, you can see the difference here. It just kind of makes them a little bit shiny. Some eyes it makes a bigger difference on than others. It just depends on how your camera captured the image to begin with. Now, rarely do I keep this at 100%. I'm gonna back this off a little bit because sometimes that just makes it look a little bit too, too much. So I usually pull it around 50 to 70, and usually 50 to 60. Right now I'm about 66%. I think that looks good. We'll move it out. And let me show you the before and after. Before and after. You can see there are a couple bright spots I removed in that little stick to the side. That's because they were pulling my eye. But if you look at the eyes, you can see the difference. So there you go. That's how I finish my eyes generally. Don't forget to download your free action that is part of this blog post. And happy editing out there.